Here comes a new challenger! Hello everyone, and welcome. I don't really celebrate Halloween, but considering the day, I'd like to tell you all of something that kind of traumatized me. Even now, still, it kind of hurts, you know? So let's talk about it. So, I don't know if any of you guys remember. Though, if you don't even know what this show is, then you're probably not that old, or at least near my age. But, there was a show called Hot Wheels World Race. And in that, it was a, it was a movie. And in that, you know, you had all these characters and they all formed teams, right? And the point was for each of the racers to make it to the end and obtain the Wheel of Power. Now, the movie was great. It had plenty of characters to love and enjoy. And one of my favorites was Kadeem, the leader of the team of the Dune Rats. That's what they were called. And he was he was their leader. And Kadeem was a cool character. He was he was a main character. He was very prominent. And, you know, he's he's one of the reasons why Vert Wheeler as a character changes throughout, you know, World Race, which gets a different point of view, essentially, you know, without spoiling too, too much. Now, at this point, I highly recommend you watch Hot Wheels, World Race, and Acceleracers. You can find both on YouTube. Now, here's the thing. I understand it's over, like, five hours of content, but it's really good. I know it's Hot Wheels, but you'd be surprised at the quality of writing and character writing and, you know, and the CGI still doesn't look all too bad all today, you know, it's an, it's an early 2000s CG show, but it still looks pretty good even now. So I recommend it. Please check it out. The show was canceled at the end, and I do want to talk about that for a future video. But for now, I really just want to express my love for this show and something that horrified me at this point. So, since I was talking about Kadeem, you probably already know what I'm going to be talking about if you've seen this show. Basically, in the first movie, in the first race of Acceleracers, well, at least when they go through the realms, Kadeem helps them. But he falls, something happens, and well, you know, he disappears. Vert Wheeler tries to save him, but because of how the worms work, he didn't have enough time to save Kadeem. We all thought Kadeem was gone, but turns out he was saved, or captured rather by the drones, the enemy of the series. And the last thing you see of him is being trapped and closed essentially in like a tombstone. You can think of it like that. After that, you don't really see Kadeem. However, later in the series, Kirk's brother, Margie, is, well, captured. And, well, they gotta go save him. And so they go into the drone headquarters to save Margie. However, Kadeem's voice can also be heard, telling them where to go. Kadeem is leading them to where both he and Margie are. And at first, you may think, oh, well, maybe what happened to him wasn't all too bad. However, we soon find out the truth. As Kurt drives into the drone's headquarters while the others distract the drones, we see Marky. His arm was transformed. It's now a drone-like arm, but the rest of his body is still intact. So... We're led to believe the similar thing happened to Kadeem, but, well... If you're here to rescue me, I'm afraid you may be too late. Kadeem? What have they done to you? They made me stronger. Gah! Faster, too. Do you remember when we fought before? I won. Kadeem reveals himself, and he's been fully transformed into a drone, and at this point, I'm mortified by his appearance. I mean, just look at him. He's no longer human. His bottom half is metallic, 
the veins, these cords are going into his upper body inside. His eyes are green, his body has markings, his face, his he has he's he has a robotic arm, his his hair, everything about him, it looks so unnatural and grotesque. It's it looks horrible. What did they do to Kadim? Kadim was essentially transformed, and even now when I think about it, it still horrifies me that they could do this to one of my favorite characters. When I forgot about Hot Wheels, and sooner or later came back to it, I immediately remembered Kadim and his fate, but I didn't remember how bad it was, and seeing as he is as an adult, it still horrifies me to an extent. He was one of my favorite characters, and, well, as he says it... Kadeem, it's not too late. Come back with us. <sighs> Kadeem is gone! <laughs> Kadeem's demise is one that hurts me personally, because Kadeem was a great character. He honestly didn't deserve the fate that he got in this show, and... Who knows? Maybe in a fifth movie or sixth movie, there would have been a way to save him. Maybe he could have been saved. But since the series got cancelled and Mattel refuses to ever bring it back, and only recently has it been acknowledged by Mattel in, for instance, Hot Wheels Infinite Loop, that doesn't necessarily mean we could be getting the series back. Kadeem truly is gone at this point and for me you know I, I miss him i wish he had a happier ending but he doesn't get that now to me i hope someday hot wheels accelerators comes back and who knows maybe kadeem will have a future after all but until then please take care of yourselves you know, I know what day you're watching this on, so promise me you'll be safe. After all, it's a crazy world out there. But as long as you're okay, then that's all that matters to me. If you enjoyed the content, press that subscribe button. It really means a lot that we grow as a channel. I really appreciate it. Comment down below. Tell me if you watch Hot Wheels Acceleracers or World Race. Tell me your thoughts on the series or on Kadeem. Let's focus on Kadeem, shall we? With that all being said, thank you so much for watching. Please take care of yourself, and as always, have an amazing rest of your day. Peace. You can